Well, have you ever had anything taken from you at, from the TSA? Um, what's the TSA? They took my homemade honey from my relatives, so. And when you say homemade honey, you mean actual honey from bees? Yes. This is the good news. Now, the TSA is going to allow you to bring a wiffle bat on the plane. Two golf clubs. Not three, not four, but two. How do you feel about that? I feel pretty good. This is just one golf club, but that's rad, too. I'm all about it. There you go. Yeah, let me tell you, with a stroke like that, it is dangerous. You could hurt somebody, man. Stay away from this guy. Now, if I give you this, you promise you're going to be safe? They're letting you bring this on the plane. They won't allow you to bring more than, what, four ounces of soap, but now you can bring a sharp little knife. I think it's ridiculous. Would you like to be sitting next to some crazy looking dude who's got a, a blade like this flashing it around? No, that would be definitely uncomfortable. That, my friend, is when you need either the wiffle bat or two golf clubs. Yeah, two golf clubs. Better than one. Don't do this at home. I'm going to get yelled at for messing around with knives. I know it. Ow! Oh my god, I just cut myself. <laughs> See, this is what would happen if you go to the airport with all this stuff. You have to carry it. Now, if I was a TSA guy, I'm going to have to ask you to take off that hat. You're not allowed to bring in a cup of coffee yet. Now, you can bring in two golf clubs, a sharp little knife, and a wiffle bat. Seriously? <laughs> Amazing follow through. Once again proving the wiffle bat can do literally no damage <laughs> on the plane, on the playground, anywhere. Oh. Okay. Uh,